So you've heard all the good things about St. Augustine, but has anyone ever covered the bad? I'm going to go over the top five worst things about living here in St. Augustine that only locals are going to know. And we're going to get after it right now. What's up everyone, this is Thomas with Keller Williams here in St. Augustine, Florida. And if you're looking for everything you need to know about eating, working, sleeping, and the top five worst things about living here in our beautiful city, then this is the channel for you. So go ahead and tap that subscribe button below, like the video, and if you have any other questions about what you may like or may dislike here in St. Augustine, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll get right back to you. We got people reaching out to us all the time about different things here in St. Augustine. So whether that's a call, text, or email, I'm the guy answering the phones, so it'll go direct, directly to me. So whether that's a call, text, or email, I'm here for you. And also stay tuned for the fifth and final thing that I have about St. Augustine that really, if you're a local, that's the only one that you're really going to be upset about. Uh, that's going to be the fifth and final one, so stay tuned for that one. The first thing I wanted to cover on the top five worst things here in St. Augustine is going to be the tourists in the area. Now, don't get me wrong, we do love our tourists. It's pretty much the lifeblood of our city. Probably the service industry is going to be the largest industry in, in terms of people that are being employed in our area because we do have so many uh, tourism coming, not too many tourists coming to our town. So whether that's you know a spa service or you know going out to a restaurant, uh, we have a large in service industry here in St. Augustine, and that fuels our town. But at the same time, that, that does come with its own pains. You know, we do love our beautiful city as well, but we can't necessarily experience it the same way uh, when you have thousands of people running around it. So, you know, during the summer, that's the peak tourism time where traffic is really awful. And uh, then once school starts, it tapers off a good bit. And then once you hit like November, December, tourism peaks again because we have our night of light season. So, you know, getting to enjoy your town is really tough when you have so many people driving 10 miles under the speed limit, looking at all the sites, not knowing where they're going. Uh, and then you have different traffic patterns throughout the day. So it, it's just, it can be a real mess. And as much as we do love our tourism uh, industry here in St. Augustine, it does uh, propose its own challenges as well. When I grew up on St. Augustine Beach, it was primarily people that just lived there. But now, you know, with the uh, invention of Airbnb and uh, Vacasa, people can turn their homes into rentals, even rent rooms out if they want to. So you're now seeing a larger rental base on that area and it's just growing throughout St. Augustine. So that's changing the landscape of real estate here in our community. The second worst thing on our list is going to be the weather here in St. Augustine. We actually get 50 inches of rain on average per year. So why are we called the Sunshine State? Well, our, our weather goes back and forth and it flip flops really quickly. Uh, during the summer, it gets really hot and it's humid. So you're gonna expect a rain shower almost every day at like four o'clock. And you can almost set your watch to it. But at the same time, also here in, in Florida in general, they say if you don't like the weather, just wait 20 minutes. It will literally go from a beautiful sunny day like today to a torrential downpour, the worst rain you've ever seen in your life. So that definitely happens here. You know, along with the rain, you do also have the hurricanes too. Um, luckily, knock on some wood, um, we are lucky here in northeastern Florida because we have not been hit with a serious hurricane in many years. Hopefully that doesn't change. Uh, a lot of the hurricanes tend to hit on the West Coast um, and we've gotten, you know, we get our fair share of, of rain, but luckily we haven't been directly hit in several years. The third thing on our list that I wanted to talk about in the top five worst things in St. Augustine is going to be the rising cost of housing. Uh, I had the fortunate ability to grow up here in St. Augustine, so I've seen how this place has really kind of taken off in the past 10 years. Uh, people that have lived here for you know 20 plus years will tell you about how there was no traffic at one point. You could drive around the whole city in 15 minutes. Well, I, I really didn't experience that, but it has changed drastically since uh, I've been aware of the city. Uh, I moved here in 98 and it was a completely different town than it is today, uh, thankfully. Um, but the, the housing cost has also followed with that. Now, do I see it as expensive? Yes, I do. The people that have already been living here, it is a little bit different to them just because of how they've seen housing prices go up. 
Last year, our average sale price was $323,000. And this year, we're right now at like 385, and that's going up. So that's a 20% increase in one year. And it's not like that just happened all of a sudden. They were having increases of, you know, five, 6% year over year for several years. So the housing almost seems like it's unattainable to people who, who, who have lived here and see how the prices have gone up. But if you're coming from a different area, we actually are pretty well priced compared to any other metropolitan area. I mean, if you're looking like DC or New York, Philadelphia, we're probably easily $200,000 below the median sale price comparatively. Now, the experts are expecting our area to appreciate in pricing over the next year. The most conservative number that I saw was 10%, and the second one below that was 14%. So we'll see where this happens. I mean, the only thing where that could really change would be because of maybe a hurricane or another natural disaster or, disaster or maybe a potential war. As of right now, Northeastern Florida is looking like an attractive option to move to just because of so many different factors such as COVID, uh, such as taxes and government. Uh, so Northeastern Florida has kind of been undervalued for a long time. And I believe that we're actually going up into a market where we're gonna start leveling out in pricing. But when that happens, I think it's just gonna be as until we're not perceived as a deal comparatively to these other larger metros. Guys, if you've gotten a little bit of value out of this video, please do me that solid and tap that subscribe button below, like the video, and also leave me a comment. We got new videos coming out every week, so if you're looking to learn everything you need to know about St. Augustine, this is the channel for you. The fourth thing that is the absolute worst about St. Augustine is how fast our city is growing. We are a suburb of Jacksonville, and just last year, Jacksonville went from 1.1 million people to 1.55 in the middle of this year. Uh, so that's more than a 10% population growth that they've had over a year. St. Augustine, we've benefited from that as well. So our town is rapidly growing. Uh, home prices are going up and our population is going up with it. We just don't have enough homes for the people that are relocating here to our area. Now, I really don't know when the secret got out about St. Augustine. You know, I always, I moved from New York and I, I really thought St. Augustine was a pretty great town, um, but it was nothing like the city. Uh, but as things have progressed here in town, as uh, the internet, you know, got people talking and, and checking out different locations, St. Augustine has grown. And I really believe that since the Night of Lights has gained popularity, people came here for vacation and decided, you know what, a small town vibe like this, where you still have the access to everything you want to do for fun, uh, you know, whether that is going to the beach or maybe a good concert, you know, that's all available locally to you in this great little town. You wanna to go out for a nice drink, we have a winery, they also have distilleries. If you just wanna grab some food on the water, they have plenty of areas to do that. Uh, so the negatives here really are, are kind of just the heat, um, but everything else you kind of can get, you can deal with and get around. With that population growth, just like I talked about before, we're having larger issues with traffic, especially people that aren't familiar with how things work around here. You know, if you drive the same route every day, you know exactly how to do it and the fastest way to do so. Other people don't, especially when they're just relocating to the area here. So, um, at work, they're just traveling, they're looking around, they're checking all the sites, they're trying to get their, their bearings and figure out where they are. So when you're driving around town here, the traffic is growing so bad that it is taking you, you know, 10, 15 minutes longer than it used to in the past. Now, that's just the pains of growing in a city here. Unfortunately, I don't see that's going to change. Still, traffic compared to other places is very, very mild. The fifth and absolute worst thing about St. Augustine, and this is just a personal gripe of mine, and to be completely honest, it was really difficult to find five things that I didn't like about St. Augustine, but this fifth one is definitely a big one. Uh, it's the Bridge of Lions. Now, like I said, it, it, I've said this in other videos, it goes up every half hour, and if you're driving around a lot like me, you're definitely gonna have some difficulty navigating around that, and most of the time you will just choose not to go to that area of town. Sometimes you're forced directly down there, so if you have the perfect storm of the population growing, you also have tourists in town for the peak summer hours, and let's say it's pouring rain like crazy, so all the traffic is bad and it's hot and it's raining. And on top of that, you have to wait an extra 20 to 30 minutes for the bridge to go up and down and then the traffic following that. So really 
severely inconvenient for the people that live here. Maybe one boat might go through when the Bridge of Lions goes up and probably 300 people in a car are at least inconvenienced when that goes up. And for at least 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the traffic, it can be worse, but we've seen traffic that extends a mile in downtown St. Augustine and downtown St. Augustine is only a mile long. So it's, it, it, I think it's, it's getting to a point where locals need to have a conversation about how this bridge needs to be incorporated, maybe going every hour, um, just so that the locals here have a little bit of a, a leeway when it comes to traveling here locally. Guys, if you got a little bit of value out of this video, if you found something you don't like about living here in St. Augustine, please do me that solid and tap that subscribe button below, like the video and comment if you have any additional questions. We have new videos coming out every single week about living here locally in the area. So please subscribe if you're looking for more information. Also, if you need any additional help, we got people reaching out to us all the time about real estate here in St. Augustine. So give me a call, a text or an email, whatever that is, it goes directly to my phone and I'm the guy answering it and I'm here for you.